Hey guys, welcome to you and I two minute tutorials. Today we're going to be uh, taking a look at a really quick tip. Um, it's called nice slice scaling and it's something that you're going to use in Illustrator whilst you're creating your concepts and also in Unity as well. So let's jump straight into it. Select the um, button or panel that you're working with and then open up the symbols tab here. If you can't find it, go to a window and symbol should be down the bottom there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create a new symbol and then we're going to call this button pink. I'm going to keep it dynamic and we're going to enable guides for nice slice scaling. The reason why we'll keep it dynamic is because when we create multiple instances of this button, you might want to um, customize them individually or you might want to do a global change. So if you want to do a global change, you adjust or edit the master. If you want to make individual changes, you can um, edit the, um, the instances of the button um, quite easily and it doesn't affect the master. Um, so we'll, we'll do that, um, enable this. Then we're gonna hop in and just check that the uh, auto generated slices are okay. Now we can see that we can just bring these over a little bit just so they kind of clear the, um, the radius there and this little highlight that we've got. And do the same there and we'll do the same there. There we are, and that's perfect. So we just double click to get out of here. And as you can sort of see um, quite easily now, we can just increase the, the width without you know any squashing or without having to select different types of anchor points and stuff like that. And as you can see, we can create really big buttons as well. Quite useful. And um, just quickly, um, we'll do it for the panel as well. So we'll do panel, panel pink. Um, same settings, we just hop straight into it. Uh, as you can see, it's done a pretty good job of um, slicing this one. So we're just gonna um, go ahead and just increase the height and the width a little bit. And as you can kind of see, very quickly, we've got a flexible width and height panel and a button without having to jump into the anchor points and um, you know sort of shifting them out 10 pixels at a time or anything like that. It's really, really powerful tool, guys. Um, take a look um, this workflow is quite similar to what you would expect to see in the unity engine as well that's all for today guys that's been you and i two minute tutorials catch you later